navigate to motion, axes, add a new axis to the project. Click import and the functionality will be imported. The import was successful. Click OK. Under the drive column, link the drive from the hardware configuration to this axis. To configure the axis, click on axis 1. Here, reducers and actuators can be added to the axis. Additional settings are available, such as mechanical properties, units, dynamics, and homing options. Notice that after the import was successful, functions and screens were added to the project. This is the diagnostic functionality. To enable the functionality in the latter, navigate to function 1, which is the default function. Call umd underscore main within function 1. umd underscore main will have two input parameters. Both are existing structs. The A parameter, link motion control. And to the B parameter, link umd underscore general. The diagnostics functionality is now enabled within the ladder. Next, diagnostic screens must be linked to user screens. Navigate to screen 1, which is the default screen. Place a button on screen. Rename the button. Diagnostics. and give the button action. The button will load a screen and the screen will be underscore umd underscore main. This is the main screen of the diagnostic functionality. Click close. There must be a way to return from the diagnostics to the user screens Navigate to underscore umd underscore main. In the bottom left, there is a home button that is intended to return the user to the main screen, the user screen. Click on the home function. Assign an action to this button. The action will load a screen. Screen 1, which is the user screen. Click Close. This has been a demonstration on how to import Unilogic servo drive diagnostic functionality into the project. I hope you enjoyed this video.